Okay, so some of you may be asking, what is the Armory mod? You may be going like, hey, is it a new Flans mod? Is it a replacement for existing gun mods? Is it some kind of cool system we can play around with, install, and get a whole bunch of weapons? It sort of is, but at the same time it isn't. Armory mod is designed to be a platform for content creation. It's designed to give you, the user, mod pack creators, and other developers the ability to make weapons, armor, all kinds of stuff really easily and quickly without understanding how to program. Uh, all the content you see here is made via JSON. For those who don't know what JSON is, it's a text-based format that is designed to store data so that when it's loaded up, it's standardized so it's easy to read in and process. It's not code. You don't really have to be intelligent to use it. It's basically type it in, make sure the formatting is the same, and make sure you're, you're naming your variables correctly. So for guns, for example, you would name them a handgun. You would provide various data. And via providing this data, you'll get something that looks like a handgun. Now, this is two-dimensional, but the system does allow for three-dimensional guns. For example, this RPG that I've created for a commission. Uh, if we actually get some ammo for this, and was created via JSON as well, we can actually reload. It'll do a click. It'll also notify me via chat that it needs to reload stuff. Actually, yeah, there it goes. So to reload, you can adjust reload times. You can adjust fire rates. Uh, you can do animations here. For example, there's an uh, this is the unnamed state. This is the aim state. When I'm in the unnamed state, I can't fire this. This is actually uh, set up via the JSON data. Not all weapons are set up this way. Some weapons will fire from the hip. An RPG, of course, needs to be shouldered. I can then fire it. You'll see an explosion off in the distance. It'll actually explode. The explosion is controlled via JSON. It's using the uh, ICBM TNT explosion. Uh, which is defaultly provided with Volts Engine, so that's something you have available to you. If you wanted to add antimatter as your explosion, you could do it. There's various things you can do with the Armory mod. There's literally no limit. And this is all set up via the JSON system. So everything's accessible to you. What type of projectile you want to fire? Does the projectile use a ray trace? Does it use an entity? How fast does it move? How big is the projectile? What does it look like when it's moving? Does it detonate on impact? Does it delay on impact? So you can do grenades with this system. You can do grenade launchers with this system. You can do dud effects with this system. You can do AOEs. You can make it do potions on impact effects, splintering effects, everything. There's a lot of availability to doing the armory system. Um, and of course you get, can do your normal handgun bullets here. You could do shotguns, for example, like here's a shotgun and we can go grab HE shells. Now ignore a lot of the textures in here. Of course, Armory is still pretty early in its beta infancy. Uh, we are doing a lot of work with it and eventually we're going to get a lot of stuff with it. Now let's see if we can find, I'll actually turn it on to easy mode so we can pop a couple slimes down here and we'll go ahead and shoot them. So now I've got um, these right here. Now it does take a bit of time for the shotgun to reload. It's not exactly balanced. These are test weapons, of course, I'm using, except for the RPG, it's an actual weapon. Uh, but I'm using a test shotgun and it'll reload. It's got an eight, uh, mag or eight round magazine built into it that uh, it stores rounds. It will load, it's supposed to load one round at a time, but because of the current reload code, it's gonna do all of them. Eventually you will be able to load one round at a time. You'll be able to uh, stop in mid fight cycle. There'll be a lot of handling. If you decide you want to do really complicated things, you can. Uh, for example, if somebody stops mid-reload, the weapon could explode, for example. Um, if they don't have enough ammo or energy to load the weapon. These, by the way, this supports energy is long, along with item-based ammo. It uh, can do magic-based, although the magic-based will have to do a little bit of additional code. For example, if you want to do some Thomcraft magic, you would have to make a plug-in for the Thomcraft. And that is not avoidable. But we have HE ammo. See, as I, my cursor is not pointing at these, but you hit and it explodes. This is using basically a minor AOE code. It's not even using the explosion over here. It's a custom built uh, AOE system. The AOE system is simply saying, okay, I want to do one damage to these slimes every time it impacts nearby them. And it's got a radius based system too. So it will calculate the distance from the impact. So the farther you get from the impact, the uh, less damage it will do. You can invert this. You can actually say, I want to do more damage. There's a lot of different ways to do it. By the way, if I cycle off the gun, it will stop reloading. If I cycle back on, it does not continue reloading until I fire again and various other things. Um, with the Armory mod, we also have availability of sentry guns. These are the uh, ICBM Classic sentry guns. Uh, apparently that one won't place. Let's try this one. Of course, in the middle of doing a demo video. Uh, oh yeah, these are the weapons. Okay, so ignore these. By the way, these are gonna disappear. Here's the actual sentry gun. So we'll place that. Render's not updated on that one. So we'll place this one down here. This is a client's commission sentry gun that I have made. 
and we'll go ahead and load it with ammo. So it's got a GUI. This is all done via the uh, JSON system. We can determine what type of ammo we're allowed to load in here, how many battery slots we have, how many ammo base slots we have, what kind of targets can we shoot at. You can restrict via the sentry system like what type you can shoot at. For example, the uh, AA guns, which I gotta go find which one is this. Its model is gonna need to be, or animation is gonna need to be updated. As you notice, it doesn't render properly. But if we, <laughs> if we open this up and we go to the targeting system, oh, uh, Apparently that's gonna not work properly. Yeah, there's a few bugs left in the system, but it's a it's a nice system we can work with. I need to go ahead and power this, which we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab a generator here. By the way, the generator is also built via JSON. This is part of somebody else's mod though, so I'm not gonna really talk about it, but we go ahead and power that. The sentry gun is now powered. It's gonna aim, it's gonna fire, all control via JSON. It's firing, barrel length is JSON driven. It's ammo is JSON driven. Um, the box here won't render if it's out of ammo. So that's controllable via JSON. A lot of these weapons are the same way, like the RPG as you've already seen, when it goes and fires, it does an, a, a reload state where there's no warhead on the end of it. That's controllable via JSON. It doesn't just do the, the ammo round. You can do empty clips. You can do single round weapons. So if to say, for example, you had a 50 cal, but you didn't have a clip, but you loaded a 50 cal round in it, you could render that that round is in there without a clip. So there's separation on that based on the render system, all done via JSON. Uh, how this logic works on the AI is done via JSON. It's rotation speed, it's range, it's targeting, everything JSON driven. Uh, when we get upgrades implemented, they'll be JSON driven. You'll be able to add extra settings in here. Uh, permission system, targeting system, ammo bay, we've done all over all that. You can turn these on and off, of course, as well. So that I can turn that off and it's powered down. Go over here, turn it back on, power it up. It's, of course, no power state now because this generator ran out of power. And uh, there's laser based you can do with this. Unfortunately, the models aren't updated, so I'll have to get to that later. But that's a quick overview of what the Armory mod is. It's a platform for building content. It's not a content providing mod itself. So you will have to download and install their mods. There is the ICBM Sentry Gun mod, which I showed some of its content. Of course, the models are not updated. Um, there is the AMS Sentry Gun turret. That's available. We're working on a World War One and a World War II weapon pack. Those will become available. Those won't just include guns, by the way. Those will end up including mortars, cannons, artillery pieces, uh, anti-tank guns. We'll eventually put tanks in there down the road, although we might do that as a separate mod just to kind of help you guys select your content. As the whole system is designed to help you as a mod pack maker or you as a user pick what content you want to play with. Every piece of content is disableable. If you don't want to have a gun, you can just go into the jar file and delete the JSON file and the gun will not load. If you don't like the crafting recipe, change it. There's override capability on the external files. Uh, a lot of this stuff is externally overridable, so if you want to change properties about it, you don't have to go into the jar file. You can go in the external and say remove recipes, uh, change the power value, remove power, add power, add extra effects to it, change the bullet physics, do whatever you want via the external files. And I'll, of course, be showing this off in tutorials here later, but uh, yeah, overview. And uh, see you guys later.